Yeah, I didn't think that at all, Seth. So it's good to see you. Um, we got a presentation first, and then Jacob's going to show the func functionality of the prototype. So if you'll just give me about five to six minutes, I can blow through these points and then we'll get on so that way, you know, we can keep the time moving. So if you'll just give me a quick moment here, let me go ahead and share my screen. Can you see the presentation? Can y'all hear me? Okay, there we go. It's okay. I think I think it's my headset. It's, it's been cutting in and out all day. So it's okay. Uh, I'm here as long as I can hear you guys. We're good. So um, obviously, Seth, this is the Note Builder Tool presentation. So we definitely want to thank you for meeting with us today um, to allow us the opportunity to share our current ideas and developments on our prototype. Like you mentioned, we do know time is valuable. So we want to express the greatest appreciation for your attention and your time today. So uh, if you'll just give me a moment here. So I thought before we get everything started that I would share this little illustration that I found while I was doing the preparation for this presentation. As we can see, it's a teacher in the background. She's got some notes on the backboard, but it's a little illegible. And the caption beneath it says, whatever happened to students taking good notes in class. And I thought that the humor of that was purposeful because we are here to talk about good note taking and a possible update in our note taking procedures today, Seth. So we'll go ahead and tackle it by just asking the obvious question, why are we here today? And as you can see, the purpose is laid out. We wanna get approval to move forward with developing this note builder tool for a more sophisticated note-taking process. So today, I, hey, I put it in there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so today we're gonna to talk about the benefits of the note builder tool, any possible pain points that we may encounter as we continue to work out the kinks of the design, and then also what we need to get approval for the tool. So here you see on the right, we have something that's familiar. This is our current hot button and quick note text that we use in Titan. And that's essentially what we want you to think about, Seth, when we talk about this note builder tool. This is gonna be an improvement on the hot button and the quick note design that's already in Titan. So some of the benefits of the note builder tool is uniformity with the BPA design. And as we already kind of touched, you know, sophistication is what we're aiming for. So when I think about sophistication from a department standpoint, I think about uniformity. I'm a firm believer in one band, one sound. So this note builder tool will include the BPA design, which is defined as the best call flow, policies and procedures, and the note abbreviations that are already in roadmap. We wanna include those into the, the, the design. And the intent of that is to make sure that the design is focused on making sure that we're using the best call flow with every customer on every call. And we also want to eliminate the guesswork of that note interpretation from one associate to the next. Another benefit is to reduce high risk alerts. Now, of course, you know, we can't have it our way. If it was up to us, we would eliminate the high risk alerts, but we gotta be realistic, right? So the BPA design that we're intending to put into the design is designed to reduce those high risk alerts that we see trending across the department regularly. Also, another benefit to the note builder tool is we want it to support the new ease OBO changes with a note taking process that is up to date. Um, again, I'm gonna say it as many times as I can, Seth, because I know this is our goal right now. We want this to be a sophisticated, elegant design. And so this is where the cool part of the design is gonna come in. We want the new features and the aesthetic to be fun and trendy and something that boosts morale. I worked on the morale team, so I'm also a firm believer that if we have good morale, then we can increase those NPS and CSAT scores across the department. Now, I know we don't like to talk about the negative, but unfortunately, the way life is designed, you can't be successful without digging into the negative. So we do have a visual here. As you can see, there's three sticky notes with some random phrases. Right now, Seth, this is our current note-taking process. And I know that when we t take notes on the call, we're expected to deliver an empathic engagement to the customers. And sometimes that can be a little hard. So we try to eliminate that by giving ourselves these templates. But as you can see, these phrases are different from one associate to the next. And these are all real templates that I gathered from our team. So the pain points that we expect to encounter, associates may not find the tool useful. And we plan to confront that with inclusivity of a collective PCO voice within the design by gathering more note templates and comparing the common phrases and using unique phrases. So that way we can have a defense 
for any objective feedback of phrases like, I don't see my phrase in the design or in the tool or those phrases that I see, I don't use those. We wanna make sure that this has an inclusive voice for everybody. Another possible pain point that we expect to encounter is that associates may find the functionality of the tool complex. And we plan to confront this by prioritizing recognizable visuals and familiar functionalities with the, with the design that works off of the framework of the hot buttons, the quick notes, and the C3 visual that we use every day. If the interface is already familiar, then the associates can connect familiarity with working knowledge that they already have and navigate through any changes or any inner user face comfortably. Uh, we also recognize that it's not always a complexity issue, but it is sometimes an inclusive oversight. So we wanna make sure we give attention to that. And another pain point that we expect to encounter is changing from an independent mindset to a collective mindset. And we know that that can be difficult to promote. Now, this may be one of the harder challenges, but we plan to confront that with a psychology approach of negative reinforcement. Um, from observation, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, Seth, I believe that our department is evolving. And so we wanna make sure that we keep up with that evolution, especially with advanced systems coming out like Ease OBO. A new note-taking process will require a maturation and skill set from us as associates and the teams across the departments, which means that it is possible that disciplinary action is a possible priority for outdated skills that don't match the changes that we're trying to make. So in conclusion, we want to have this note builder tool support us with the new changes that are coming with Ease OBO. And now that we know the benefits of the note builder tool, the possible pain points and how we plan to encounter them, here's what we need to get approval for our uh, proposal, I'm sorry, to build the tool with the design advancement and an effective user interface. We do need a strong team of thinkers with strong team collaboration skills who can meet deadlines and bring insights to the design of the tool. We also would like to request an approval of two to five hours a week per associate for roughly about 10 weeks to collaborate as a team to enhance current design and formulas for tool effectiveness. And also we would need support across the enterprise to make this tool worth its value. So again, thank you, Seth. As you can see, I added a little bit of my humor in there. I hope you took notes. <laughs> And at this point, I don't have anything else to present, so I'm gonna pass the presentation over to Jacob so he can present the functionality of the note builder tool prototype that we're already working on.